Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over the PUBG PGIS Pick'em Challenge, specifically the Week 1, Event 1, and Event 2, for which teams you should vote for and why. Now, I've already gone over complete... Excuse you. Jesus Christ. Uh, sorry about that. My dog almost freaking jumped out the door. Freaking cat walking along the fence over there. Jiminy Crickets. Yeah, the crap out of me. So today's video is going to be about week one voting for event one and event two. I'll be going over which teams I think you should pick and why. And this video should also give you a really good idea of how to vote for future events in case you miss some uh, upcoming videos. Now, I've already gone over a full video explaining the Pick'em Challenge, how the voting works, how to get your coupons, how to get free coupons, all that kind of stuff. So go check that video out after this one if you haven't already. That'll be in your top corner or down below in the description. All right, let's go and get started on our picks. All right, guys. So first up, let's go over a quick overview of the Pick'em Challenge. We'll be doing two events, event one and event two. Event one is we're going to be voting on which team we think or which teams we think are going to make it into the top four of the weekly final matches. Now, there's only going to be 16 teams that you can vote for. This is really, really important. We cover this. So we're going to go to the weekly final top four, click on cast votes. And right here is going to be the page where you click on which team you think is going to win. Now, if you'll notice, uh, I know my head's kind of blocking it, but see this team over here, uh, DWG, uh, Tianba, T1. Any of the teams that are not highlighted in red mean they have not advanced to the weekly final missions. So if you vote on these teams, you'll be wasting your coupons. Don't do that. There's already literally hundreds of thousands of people that voted prematurely and didn't wait like I recommended, and now they legit just wasted their coupons. So only vote on the teams that are highlighted in red. That's number one. Number two, what we're voting on here is which teams we think are going to place into the top four. And then of those placements, you'll get assigned points for that. So for instance, if we vote for Sonic, uh, which is right here under my face, uh, if we vote for Team Sonics and they place in first place, we'll get 100,000 points. If we vote for them and they place second place, we'll get 50,000 points. Third place, 25, fourth place, 12, et cetera. You get the picture. Now you can make eight total votes on this screen alone. If you wanted to, if you had eight coupons, so I have 22. If you have eight, you could choose eight different teams, but you're only going to win a maximum of four times and you'll only get up to 187,000 points for this event one week one challenge. Of the teams that are available to pick, this one's pretty straightforward. What we're doing is we're guessing which teams are going to perform the best. And the only thing we can really look at is the previous weekly matches and the ranking matches that they did. And which if, if we look at that, we'll see these are the top five teams here. So Sonics, Infantry, Navy or Navi, uh, Shoot to Kill and Team Liquid. So for event one, my votes uh, in this order are going to be Sonics, Infantry, Navi, STK, and Team Liquid. So that's who I would vote for in that order. If you had spare coupons, if you only have one coupon, then just vote from top down. So Sonics, Infantry, Navi, STK, Team Liquid, in that order. Before we move on, make sure you get your vote in before this timer is up. This two days and 10 hours. We'll have two more days and 10 hours from now to cast your vote. If you don't cast your vote, you won't lose your coupons. You can still use these for future uh, events, but you won't be able to vote on this challenge, okay? All right. So now let's go to event two. Now this is the weekly kill point MVP, which is where we predict which team gets the most kills during the weekly final missions. Now the way this one is different from the other one is that here we can still choose up to eight teams. We can vote eight times if you have eight coupons, but only one team wins and you get a 200,000 EP. So you get more EP than the event one challenge but your chances of winning are much lower as you can only, as only one team will win rather. So uh, for people who are low on coupons, on these voting coupons, but want to kind of gamble their chances to maybe get, you know, win big, event two is where you want to use your coupons more than event one, in my opinion, because if you pick say the top four um, performing teams, if one of those teams wins, you already get more points than what you would have if you guessed all four correct teams on event one. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so now for the weekly kill point MVP, what I did is 
I just went to um, the PGIS website. I downloaded or I copied and pa pasted rather all of the team's matches, their ranking and their kills into an Excel file. I sorted it uh, from high to low and uh, to give us an idea of which teams had the most kills during their matches, which would should be able to tell us which teams might get the most kills for this weekly final matches. And in this order, this is who I would vote for. Sonics and number one, Gen G and number two, Oath and number three, 4 AM and number four, TSM number five, Afrika Freaks and number six, and Virtus or was it Virtus? Virtus Gaming uh, and number seven. So those are the top seven teams and the highlighted red teams. Again, this applies here too. Don't waste your coupons on the teams that are not highlighted red like a few of these thousands of people did. Only vote on the teams in red because those are the only teams that have advanced to the weekly final missions that can actually win you some points. All right, I know that was a mouthful. I hope that helped. I'm going to have my picks also put in the uh, description and the comment of the video if you want to refer back to it later. But I hope this gives you a good idea of kind of how my thought process went on which teams I would pick and why. This should help you in the coming events, although they are going to change a little bit. I'll do my best to have a new video up every Wednesday or Thursday with my picks and why, but I am getting married next Saturday and then I go on my honeymoon the following weekend. So I'll still do my best to stay in touch with you guys, but if I'm a little absent on a couple of those days, well, you know why. Okay. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Guys, if it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be about the new uh blue the the blue balls tag your it game mode or whatever the heck they're doing the event mode i got some gameplay i'll show for you guys on that all right y'all take care i'm out peace